here with the gorgeous, look at these girls, are you kidding me right now? The gorgeous Kendall, Nicole, and Lindsay, Kim Caminiti's beautiful daughters. So Lindsay, tell me what it means to you to be here to witness your dad's induction to the Padres Hall of Fame. I mean, this is the most amazing thing. Like, I, if he was here, he would be so grateful. We're all very grateful for this. It's, it's one of the coolest things. How many people can say, like, they... I think they said he was number 13 to be inducted into the Padres Hall of Fame. Like, such a small number, such a great thing. It's just, we're all so overwhelmed and so happy for this moment. And it's so great to be able to celebrate him even, you know, after him being gone, there's still this, like, that, this joy and this happiness and this memory that we get to all celebrate together. It's great. Well, you talk about the joy and the happiness yeah. and all of that that he brought to the fans here yeah. in San Diego. Yeah. And everybody talks about what an amazing teammate he was and his work ethic and what he meant to this team. What does that mean to you to hear that? And what sort of lessons do you take away from that and that he taught you? Um, I mean, there's just so much. Just even from, like, hearing the people's stories and everything that you, you know he was such a genuine and such a sweet, kind person. He looked scary to a lot of people. People were intimidated. <laughs> by his appearance but if you really knew him he was just like a giant teddy bear and and he just really cared so much about everyone about his teammates about his family and I mean to see all if he saw all these people who were here all these people here to celebrate him it's just something that you know I, I know he's up there just like so grateful for all of this so and it, Nicole I know you have a great story about growing up and playing in the backyard yeah. <laughs> tell us about that okay, I guess I was just trying to hit the ball and I kept striking out and I guess that happened so many times that I got mad and I tried breaking the bat over my knee <laughs> and he just looked at me and he said I wonder where she gets it from <laughs> so yeah I mean I was really little when a lot of the baseball stuff happened so I don't have as many memories but I know that he was always really good with me I've always been really nervous and he always like calmed me down he was I mean he was a really good dad and Kendall, I know that you also have some great stories about growing up, coming to the ball yard with Ken as your dad. What, what was it like growing up with that? Everyone always asks us that, and it's like, you don't know any different. He's our dad, just what it was. We grew up with him playing, but coming to the games, I mean, we ha he had three girls. None of us were that interested in baseball, to be honest. But we would come to all the games. My mom makes listen to the radio of the baseball games on the way, especially if he was about to come out bat. Um, but I remember specifically, I think it was the, it was 1998 when they're going to the World Series, but it was the game where they won the division. And so after the game ended, all the players and their families got to come out onto the field and just champagne fight, essentially. It was like the funnest thing. I had a whole bottle to myself, and I was just spraying everybody, going crazy. That car ride home, though, was the worst. It was so sticky, and we just smelled. Thank God we didn't get pulled over. <laughs> So basically living out everyone's dream as a seven-year-old. Yes, exactly. Seven years old, just getting to spray everybody with champagne. It was, it was the best. And it's awesome because it's such a tight group. Like, so we're still really good friends with a lot of players and their families. And we all care for each other. And it's really cool. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here. Kendall, Nicole, and Lindsay, we really appreciate it. And congratulations.